Spotify for Artists allows you to pitch on the back end. Here I'm going to show you guys Chris Kaiga. He's a very, very popular Kenyan artist who signed to Ditto. We've got his album release coming up at the end of January. It is exactly two months away. We still have another single drop, but mm -hmm. his album is here and it's delivered. And now what I want to make sure happens is that editors get to hear this album and can think, give it time to get under their skin so that they know where on playlists this album can go. Because editors can't playlist an entire album, we pitch a song. So we tell them, hey guys, these tracks are being worked. This is the focus track. It's not a single, but it's the focus track of the album. An instant grab is basically a single from the album that goes live before the album is released. It's the same as putting a single out on all the other streaming services, but instead <coughs> of having that album go live on streaming, that single go live on streaming services, mm. it becomes live on the album. And it makes people wait, wonder, can't wait, build up anticipation, excitement for when your album is released. I can really advocate to doing that, having a proper rollout strategy, because it means that your album needs to be finished and delivered before you start with a campaign. And it means that Apple can see the data coming in. You're working it before the release of the album rather than afterwards. There are humans that sit behind the streaming services. But because of it's so much music coming at them, they get help from algorithms. And the algorithms reward consistency. My opinion, I think you probably need to release at least four tracks a year. One single each quarter. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. To remain relevant. Because when you release a song and you get a lot of uh, people coming and listening to it and then you go away for six months you that interest that momentum that you started building on the streaming service falls away falls flat goes to where you were before <clears throat> but if you're just dropping four times a year it's enough for you to keep talking about without oversaturating your audience with releases and you can do that easily even if you're not an album site keep it short Send them the top line details. Tell them what you're doing on the ground. I'm playing two shows in Joburg, then I'm going down to Durban and I'm playing three shows there because I'm originally from there. Then I'm going down to Cape Town, I'm playing one show there because I'm because according to my Apple stats, I don't have many fans there. I managed to get my show, myself a show there. Tell them what you're doing. Tell them how you're growing your audience and know their platform. Go onto Apple Music and see what playlist you think you could fit on. Find a playlist that you think your music fits on and look at the other artists on there. If you see one of the similar artists to you or someone who's also been coming up, you can ask for that playlist. Be proactive and ask them what playlist you want to be on. Let them know what you're doing. They can't be every everywhere. They can't know everything. Roll out. Work your releases. Be strategic about your releases. You spend so much time making that music. Show the respect on the release strategy side as well, please. If you're an album cycle, then hell, you've got enough content. Please don't just drop your record. Take your record and work it properly, single by single by single by single. What we usually find is that um, if you've got, it depends entirely on the artist, right? So if you've got a an album where you're going to be working releases, you know what your singles are, and you know you've got the budget to send somebody to radio for you. We know that the cycle at radio is a lot slower than at DSPs, right? So it take, probably takes about, in South Africa, it probably takes about three months from when you submit a track and it lands on a compiler's desk to when it's, a, it's added and then moves up on the playlisting and then starts dropping down the playlisting and then is off. And that takes about three months. But you release a single on a DSP, you know, you release it, it's a week later, it's on another playlist, we've got to keep <coughs> pitching or you've got to keep pitching and letting them know about news uh, to make it relevant, get it onto more playlists, but, you know, a month, maybe, the momentum is gone, maybe, maybe two months, right? 
What you could do easily is take your first single and take that to radio and decide on another good song and make that a single, but on DSPs. And then you've got activity, you've got interest. Take your third, take, sorry, so that's your second single. Take your third single back to radio and it's a single on DSPs. And then make another one from the album before you, before you release the album. That way we've got two singles that have been to radio and then you've got the album, but you've had four singles on DSP before you've got the album. Gives you something to talk about on social media all the time, right? The other thing that I suggest you do is working a pre-save, a pre-add strategy. What we used to do in the days when we still had CDs and we were working those, you would release, you would say, single and take it to radio and do a little bit of media. Single, take it to radio, do a little bit more media. Album drop, big media, <coughs> goes into stores, sales, tour. Right? You would only announce the album maybe on the second single or you know, close to the album release. In terms of baking a cake, that's basically like saying, uh, sugar, flour, I'm baking a cake, let's eat cake. Um, it's switched around. Now what we want to be doing is we want to be saying, I'm releasing an album, <coughs> sugar, flour, or I'm baking a cake, sugar, flour, let's eat cake. Um, what that allows you to do is it allows you to have a pre-save on Apple and throughout the campaign while you're releasing singles, people know that you've got an album coming up and they will go and add that to their library. When you release a single, you're relying on people. You tell people that your single is out. You're relying on people going to your profile and playing that song. If you've got a pre-ad that is available on stores, people add that to their libraries, and on release day, while they're still snoozing in bed, they haven't even listened to the song yet, the album's been added to their library, and Apple can see that. So that's how you activate your fan base to actually help you with the data. 